hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll do a first impression of uh, oh, I'm not sure if camera will pick it up <laughs> it's called um, Mir and Tonka by Joe Malone. Let me try this on my skin. have a feeling I'm already liking it but let's uh, give it a few seconds mm, okay I'll, I won't go into, into the fragrance okay what am I doing what am I doing oh my god so my headphone um, sorry yeah mic has not been working so I'm I need to get used to this uh, microphone now so I'm definitely uh, picking that uh, mirror. I I had no idea about mirror until I tried um, Aquari Parma's uh, mirror. There's uh, there's a mirror fragrance that they have. Like I like they sent me samples, but I I think I ordered myself like a, a sample from somewhere. And I'm definitely it reminds me of that. So it must be definitely mirror. Maybe a slight bit of vanilla. Vanilla, Tonka Bean. Yeah, okay. Tonka Bean kind of smells like vanilla, isn't it? It's a bit spicy. Is mirror spice? It. I don't know. I'm. I'm picking up turmeric. I'm not sure if. If it has turmeric. Apart from that, like nothing. Um, I don't know. Not not a big fan. As in, it's. It, it but it it has. Uh, it's I think probably the most popular fragrance by Joe Malone, isn't it? I I don't know what what. I, if I'm missing something or I, I don't find it that interesting Mir and Tonka Fragrantica let's see what Fragrantica shows so so it's launched in 2016 uh, the perfumer is Matilda Bijawi. Looks like uh, Bijawi. Bidowi. Bid, bid, okay. Bijawi. So the top note is lavender. I'm not getting lavender at all. And the middle one is Mir. That's all I'm getting. Maybe a little bit of. It smells like a spicy vanilla maybe yeah that's that's what it smells like and I don't understand the first what what is it that makes this fragrance so popular I don't know I 
I mean, it's very underwhelming to my nose. I'm not a not a bi- I'm not a big fan of uh, Mir anyway, and neither vanilla. Like I'm I'm, I'm bored of vanilla. This I'm bored of these French perfumers or whoever. Like every fragrance, like every every second or third fragrance has vanilla in it, and vanilla is it, it gets a bit gets a bit too much if you if you if you keep sm- smelling vanilla at least to my nose like it's a bit too much and all these oriental fragrances generally they put vanilla as a base note oh, i don't know because it's it's a very heavy note and you have to uh, that's just my opinion and it's way too sweet as well i mean there are other heavy notes as well as say for example patchouli but i don't feel feel like that about patchouli i'm i'm, I'm like I, I like patchouli that's a different thing but it's not like it it's not that like though it's heavy it's not that sweet you know what i mean it's it doesn't it doesn't you don't get satiated uh. okay so okay okay i think a few minutes into the fragrance I have a feeling this would feel very nice in the air like like uh, as a sillage or as a uh, because yeah so it, it smells like a very spicy like uh, not very spicy a little spicy breeze like cool breeze there's just there's something breezy about it yeah no i'm ah it's addictive that that that's siage right that's an addictive siage i think it's one of those fragrances like where you try to smell it you probably won't like it but if you're wearing it and then it it wafts uh, through the air you yourself would start liking it and other pe- people around you would, would, would like it that that's the kind of fragrance maybe that's what makes it so popular i guess <laughs> yeah now i understand mm. and it's the right balance of the spiciness and the sweetness as well it's not it's not way too sweet it's not way too spicy i think like It is. Oh man, there's something about John Malone fragrances. <laughs> See how how I did a 180 degree turn in, in a matter of few minutes from not liking it. <laughs> I like it when fragrances do that to me. This is what happened, I believe, with two three fragrances. Like one would be Hermes, uh, Teatro Hermes. I didn't like it when I tried it at the chemist, but then when I came home and I kept getting off of it I fell in love with it now I have the parfum version I don't think I'll ever be without that fragrance it's a beautiful fragrance and a couple of other fragrances I don't I don't not recall now wow this is a, this is a very what do you call that it's not a sweet fragrance though it has vanilla in it it's not a sweet fragrance it has this more of a um, spice market uh, cool breeze in a spice market kind of a kind of a smell to it and i like it but i i don't think i'll i'll get a bottle but but it's 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 a very pleasant smell it's nothing uh, that people would get offended about or uh, in fact like they they'll they'll feel good like if 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 they get to smell something like this all right so i'll end this video here it's a nice fragrance i think so far from what i've tried of all the jomalon fragrances i i i'm starting to like the brand now i'll maybe try and get more samples of 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 jomalon Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.